Let's see how we can create a quilling effect using a script in PaintShop Pro. Traditionally, quilling is made of very long strips of papers that are rolled in various ways and folded or pinched to create a design. In PaintShop Pro, we are going to be using a script to give the 3D effect of the traditional quilling. First of all, we open a large enough image. It's better to work on a large image and size down later than to start with a small image. I'm going to start with some of the preset shapes that were already included in the zip file. You just had to save those preset shapes in the preset shapes folder of your paint shop installation or wherever you keep your resources. So I'm going to start with a circle and let's make a circle in yellow like a flower. So I'm going to have the outline in yellow. I don't want any fill. I make sure that the retain style is unchecked otherwise you will only have it in blue. And I want a width of 10 pixels. It's recommended to use at least five pixels for a good result. So I'm going to make that center part in yellow. Now I'm just going to activate another layer to create a different shape. I'm going to make a shape out of this loop. And this time I'm going to make it in, let's say purple. And I'm creating it on the side here. To make it faster, I will simply right click, duplicate this one and place it on the other side. Now let's pull out the different objects. I'll move them together into one vector group. I'm going to remove the bottom one because it's unused. And on the top one, I will duplicate it. And this one, I will rotate. So I go to image, free rotate, 90 degrees, rotate the single layer. And I'll move it here. My shapes are still individually placed. So if I needed to move only one at a time, that would be fine too. Now let's group all the four pieces into one vector layer and the bottom one, which is empty now, I'll just delete. And the top one again, I will right click, duplicate, image, free rotate, and this time I'll rotate by 45 degrees. And I will give me these shapes. So this is how I am kind of placing my elements together to create an interesting shape. I just have to make sure that whenever I move pieces around, I don't have any overlap because traditionally the paper would not be able to overlap. So I want to make sure they don't touch even the yellow in the center. So I'll make sure that it is away. And when I'm ready to turn this design into quill papers, I will simply right click, merge, merge visible. And now that I have a single layer, it is time to run the script. So I will run the script called cast quilling. It reminds me that I need a large image and the lines need to be at least five pixels. And I go to here. What's the thickness of the lines? And my lines were 10 pixels. It just gives an idea for the thickness that it will add. And now you let the script run, which might take a minute or two, depending on the speed of your system.
and you can see the multiple layers being added to your layers palette while there is some thickness created on your design. And now that the script is finished, you end up with two separate layers. One layer is the thickness of the paper, and one layer was the original design that you have. And typically it's going to be slightly lighter in color, simply because it has more light, while the thick papers are somewhat in the shadow. And that is how you create a quilling design that you can then use in your next project. Have fun!